Hey guys, today we're doing a dish recommended by my cardiologist, and that is, well, a bunch of crispy bacon, a bunch of ham, and cheese stacked up. And oh yeah, per his recommendation, we're gonna wrap it up in hash browns and then deep fry it. What? All right, so we have our hash browns here, and yes, I cheated and I'm using frozen ones. Just make sure and let them chill out in the fridge for a day so that they dry out. Next, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of flour, baking flour, all purpose, doesn't really matter. And then add in some paprika. I prefer smoked. It's just a preference, but you do you. And then add in, oh, way too much garlic powder. Eh, whatever. And then add in just a little bit of cayenne because, well, cayenne's awesome and we like it spicy. Then just a little bit of salt and pepper and you'll be good to go. From here, just get right in there. Use the best tools you have in the kitchen and just mix it up with your hands. Next, grab your egg, crack that sucker and drop it right in. Next, back with our fingers, Stir that egg up, just break the yolk up a little bit, and we want to incorporate it into all of the potato, the flour, the spices, and that's what's going to give it the binding factor for what's about to come. Next up, grab your bacon. If you saw my previous video, yes, I did flour this bacon and fry it in it, and it turned out amazing. If you didn't flour your bacon, just cook it like normal. I promise it's going to be delicious. Now with all that, we assemble. What we have here is our bacon, we have our fresh sliced ham, and we have good old American cheese. Now use whatever cheese you want, but the premise of this is to get the layers and to get the stack. Done. All right, check this bad boy out. Ham, cheese, bacon come on the biggest challenge of this dish is not to eat the whole darn thing before you even get it breaded all right let's get these potatoes over here grab a little bit and we're going to put it in your palm all right just smash it down get it kind of flat and then grab the stack place it right on top there and then the rest is easy just keep putting the potatoes on mashing it around it and the idea for me was to be a cube, but it came out more like a ball. But either way, I know it's still going to be delicious. When you have them all done, just throw them on a tray and they're going right in the freezer. Let's call it two hours. But I ran out of potatoes. Guess what? A little snack for the chef. Oh yeah. Into the freezer. Okay, so it's been two hours, and I've preheated my oil to about 325. You don't want to go nuts here. Um, we're going to keep it at a moderate temperature. But that said, it needs to be hot enough so that the potatoes don't soak up all that oil and they become just greasy, nasty mess. We want it to basically flash fry. So right in they go until they turn golden brown. And that's about the color you want it. Now everyone's pans are different, their stoves are different, so eyeball it and just make sure that it looks delicious because color equals flavor. And now I thought I was gonna get a little tricky with it, okay? Um, I like fried eggs on things, right? As much as like bacon. And what are we talking about? We're talking about ham, we're talking about bacon and cheese. I mean, it sounds like, and hash browns, right? It sounds like a breakfast meal. So I thought, what better to do than throw an egg on it? Well, I thought I was going to get tricky and uh, just do an egg yolk uh, for the size. And it turned out to be a real pain and totally not worth it. Just fry the whole egg. Or do try it because you will probably be more successful than I was. It's just about getting that temp right. Anyway, I cut that open and I put the egg yolk on one side and we had some spicy marinara that I wanted to try on the other side. And honestly, it turned out more amazing than I actually thought. And 
here's the evidence of a failed single egg yolk. Just do the whole egg. I'm telling you, it'll be worth it. Little salt, little pepper. It's going to be awesome. But the upside was that the dish was actually delicious and decadent and everything I hoped that breaded bacon, ham, and cheese would actually be. Oh, and hash browns. Deep fried. Oh, yeah.